Okay. Uh, today is FIA Day. Nations and manufacture for you. Well, let's start out with the with my favorite race. Uh, and this was the Nations Cup. We're racing BMW street cars at Mount Panorama. So. Here we go, skip the qualifying. We gotta fast forward through these straights here because it does take these cars a bit to to climb up the mountain and then climb down the mountain on these straights here. So, and this is actually a very fun combo for me and I actually quite enjoyed it. So here we are coming into the mountain here. We're on my first attempt at a qualifying lap. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's uh, it's different because you're going a lot slower through these hills. Um, you know, there's a wall on each side. So it's very difficult in a group three or group four car. But when in, but when you're in a sh in a you know a more slower car, it's actually quite fun. It's a good combo. So coming up to a very fun part of the track here. Now I want you to pay attention to this corner here. Now watch the car in front of me. Now, this is a very fun corner. You want to get in the throttle as early as possible, and you want to basically cut it as early as you can, like that. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this in slow motion, well, you will find out later. But you want to get on the power early there, because there's a wall that comes up on the right side, and you basically, you know, want to, you know, turn less and, uh, you know, just keep your momentum up so you don't, you know, so you're not going slow. Yeah, so that's the key to racing. Don't go slow. But anyway, coming out of Devil's Elbow, I think that corner is. Uh, that green car who was in front did get a poor corner. So now, me and him are side by side, and we both don't want to ruin our lap here. So we go side by side through that little kink right there, coming up to the chase, and I was unable to keep it together, so. All right, second attempt, second lap. Here we go. Now here's the white car in front of me. So here, here's that same corner. Now look how close he gets. He gets within, that's like three inches right there. Almost wipes out his side mirror right there. So anyway, if you cut that corner too close, you get a penalty for it. So you know, he, he gets a penalty, so he slams on the brake right in front of me. So. That's another attempt ruined for a qualifying lap. So, here's my third attempt. Now this is how you do it right here. I'm already in purple sectors. And I, and I have to keep it in third gear here. Now, you have to cut it close, because that's how you keep it fast. But as you just saw, you can't cut it too close, because... You know, I, I kind of think that penalty right there is kind of bullcrap. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's just weird to me. So anyway... Fast forward down the long straight here, coming back down the mountain. Another purple sector. Now coming into the chase here, and I found a trick right here. You want to downshift to second. That really, that really, you know, slows down the car more. And then right when you get back on the power, you want to go back into the high gear. So again, right here, coming into the last corner, downshift. And or actually, in this corner, you can actually stay in. in second gear to get the best, best acceleration possible coming up to the line and right there nine tenths faster than second place at the moment and I do keep that pull but in the chat before the race this guy tries to pull a fast one on us anyone else doing the two stop so and you know so I try to do a little reverse psychology on him and I say yes so, of course, this race is no pit stops, it's just a straight dash to the finish. You do have to worry about tire wear, though, so keep that in mind. Alright, BMW streetcars, M3s. I think these are 2004s, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, here we go. And it's actually a grid start, standing start, with a false start check. So, you gotta use traction control on the start here. Five lights and lights out, away we go. 
Look at those jets. Beautiful stuff. So, coming up to turn one, lap one. I actually, and it's actually pretty clean, and I get away well. But looking behind, there's some contact here and there. One, one car goes off for a bit, briefly. But anyway, fast forward to lap five, and uh, all goes pretty well. Um, I was able to extend my lead to about, uh, you know, one second there. But coming up to this corner that we are familiar with now, uh, yeah, I basically just take out my mirror, and boom. 1.5 second penalty for that. So, anyway, next lap, I have to serve it, so... See, now when you lead about 13 minutes of a race, and you still got, like, three laps to go, um, you know, I've, I've experienced pain before, but I'm not, I, I think this one is the most painful thing anyone can ever experience. You have to slow down because of a bullcrap penalty, and your competition goes past you very easily, so. <laughs> so, yeah, so that, so that puts me into third place, but next lap, two laps to go, yes, we're coming up to that same corner, and I do it again. I do it again, and another 1.5 second penalty gets slapped on, and this time, you know what, that was too painful the first time, we're going to let you serve it as fast as possible, so you're going to serve it at the next penalty zone this time. So I have a two second lead on the guy in fourth, but, you know, the penalty is just too big, and he's just going to go by, and Right here, he's going at least maybe 20 to 25 miles per hour faster than, than I am, so that knocks me off the podium. But here we go, coming up to the same corner on the last lap. Can I get it right this time? And actually, can I get back on the podium? And I take it right, I don't cut it. So now it's just a matter of getting back on the podium here, coming into Devil's Elbow. And I basically... I just upshift too early to third, and I hit the wall, so... Yeah, very painful experience is happening. So, I'm not, I'm not able to get third, but coming up to the last corner here, four, uh, fifth place wants my fourth place, and he gets awfully close. Uh, almost too close there, but uh, we both settle for our, our top five positions, so... You know, oh well, I probably should have... I had a very good chance of winning that race, but... Uh, you know, what can you do? 174 points, best points for my Nation's Cup, so that's fine. But anyway, skipping to the Manufacturer Series, this was the race that I actually did first. And I don't want to talk about it, but I qualified 16th. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. You know, I, I don't know if it's me or the car. Um, you know, I've never raced a Group 4 Ferrari here. I've never seen the Group 4 Ferrari on any of the top 10 stars laps, so... But I've also never been very good at uh, Kyoto Driving Park here. So... Starting, starting 16th out of 20 with the Ferrari. Let's see what I can do. Fast forward to lap 2. Still in 16th. And, uh, I, and I actually start on the medium tire here. You can either use the soft or the medium tires. You do have to use the medium tires at least once. And uh, since I qualified so far back, I, I wanted to you know, start off with the mediums. And save the softs for last. And there's a little bit of contact going through the S's there. But uh, I think that those two cars were on softs. And... They just had to get by, so... So, anywho... Coming up to a little chicane here on this configuration of Kyoto. You have to abuse the track limits. I mean, you can really abuse these track limits. Uh, two wheels on the curb at, at all times and you're fine. But that's cutting it a little too close. And I get another track limit penalty. Anywho, to save you from watching me serve that, that penalty because it is painful, here's how you 
Bro, we take it. Lap three. Look how close I come up to the white McLaren here. So that's how you take that chicane right there. So, this is a battle for 16th here. I'm trying to get my position back out of my penalty here. I get on the inside of that chicane, but he gets to drive out. And uh, now this is probably one of the, my, my most favorite corners in the game. It's a quick right, and then a, a it's like a 80 degree left turn right there. Very fun stuff. So, coming up to the last turn right here. And I'm actually going to decide the pit now and basically follow the white McLaren in the pits to go to the soft tires and then run that for the rest of the race. Quick tire change, don't need to worry about fuel. Let's put those tires on and then... And that actually puts me in last place for a moment. But, so it's basically just hot lap mode until lap 9 here uh, because of the of the pit stop cycles we're actually back to where we started 14th and 15th place roughly and uh, he goes a bit wide there he leaves the door open but uh, you know the McLaren is just faster in a straight line so I have to back down I'm not able to do it so coming up to the S's I'm in the slipstream and I get to his inside here this corner is also fun as is, is also fun as well. Uh, you know, it's just these long corners are very hard on the tires. As, as you can see, my right front uh, is uh, you know significantly significantly more worn than the rest of the tires. So I'm ahead of the white McLaren here. Coming up to the chicane, he gets like probably to my quarter panel and then breaks late and then he pulls up the side and I have to back out to prevent contact and me going off the track. So better safe than sorry right there so again last lap coming out of the S's I try to fake to the left to see if he would fall for it but I don't so I'm gonna have to save it up for the chicane right here so I gotta look behind to the yellow Mercedes here and now I want to fall back a bit and then basically try to get the best run I can out of the chicane because if it worked on lap 3 then why can't it work on lap 11 last lap and it does I'm able to put right to his bumper which way does it go he goes defensive so I try to go the outside but not only does he outbreak me but he also outbreaks the tires the you know the the, the tire wear just not able to cope with the late braking there so coming up to my favorite corner here Basically hold on the 14th place as I do. Look behind, and the yellow Mercedes tries to get past the McLaren there. Almost spins out, but keeps it on track. And uh, I'm gonna bring the Ferrari home in 14th out of 20. Not too bad. Uh, it could have been worse. Um, and you know, at least like I finished better than I qualified. So, and at least I get some points out of it. So. 91 points so basically we just got to look forward to the next couple races and uh so yeah so here are the fia championships right here S starting up with the supra cup i did the first two races but you know they they you know these races are like once every two weeks so i actually kind of forgot about it and and if you look on the top left there your best three rounds will be tallied as a round five, and then it says only one half of the total rounds will be tallied. But there's a odd number of rounds, so seven divided by two is 3.5, so do your best th three rounds count, or do your best four rounds count? So, yeah, I don't know. But in case it's four, um, I'm, I'm not going to try um, with this one because uh, you know if it's four you know uh, it, so if I do round six and seven that's only three rounds that that will count towards my final score so I don't really see the point in that when everybody else does you know has four rounds tallied but 
So anyway, but whatever, it's no big deal. So let's back out. Of, so let's back out of there. Go go to the Nations Cup and uh, point rankings. As you can see, my 174 point round in round 22 there. Now same thing here. It says only one quarter of the total rounds will be tallied, and there's 30 rounds. So 30 divided by four is 7.5. So do your best seven rounds count, or do your best eight rounds count? Um, you know, I'm not really sure, but um, but anyway, I'm just gonna do um, you know, the the last eight races uh, for the nations and the manufacturer just to get the most points that I get, because as you can see there, I was pretty inactive for, through the whole season. Switching over to the manufacturer series, and yeah, totally inactive as I didn't do one round until round 20. So yeah, only a quarter round, a, so only quarter of your only a quarter of the total rounds will be tallied, but there's a, you know, but there's 30 rounds, and, you know, they don't really go into each other, so. Um, but anyway, so I'm just going to do the last rounds for the nations and the manufacturers to see how many points I can get, and to see how good I can do. And uh, there's a look at the car who just fell victim or m me rather fell victim to I don't know to that track limit uh, penalty at Mount Panorama. Um, I don't get it. But anyway, here is some sneak peek footage of F1 2020. Um, but yeah, um, let me know your thoughts on that track penalty, on that track limit penalty that I got at Bathurst. Um, I mean. Because what I think of it is absolute bullcrap, but, uh, you know, but that's the game, and you got to play by the rules, and, uh, oh well, and you got to move on to the next one. So, I will see you in the next one, and uh, look forward to more content on Gran Turismo for the FI races, and also look out for F1 2020 content, as you can see right here. Very fun game. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.